Now we'll try to scale this to BHK apartment. That is number of BHK. So here again, what we I need to do is I'll do a right click and inspect, and it is taking us to this span tag where this value two is present, right? We don't want all these two BHK apartment. We just want the number of BHK. That is two, three, four, and all that, right? So here you see it is present again in span tag. So if I just give span tag, we have seen already that there are different span tag present in our website. We won't be able to find that, right? So here, if I use, what if we use this class? So there might be chances that you have the span tag with the same class as well. For example, here, if I go to my website and here we feel just right, soup dot find. And here, if I give, the spam span tag right and then we give the attrs equals to that is attributes equals to we have class and the class is val right so we have val now if i run it you get the this something span class equals to val js tag and all that right so this is this is giving you very first span tag with this attribute right here if you write find all you will be able to see all the tags with this all the span tag with this attribute class is to val right so here you have all that now we don't want all of that what do we want is we want the where this number of bhk is present so here we are not going to use your span tag so how, what are, are we going to use that right so here we need to make use of this hierarchy of this tag. So here, if I go up, this strong is also pointing to to BHK apartment, right? Then again, if I go up, this A tag is also pointing to this to BHK apartment, right? Our this is also highlighting to this to BHK. Now, we cannot use strong because there might be many strong tags, and this does not have any attributes as well. Right, so it is a very bad idea to use this strong tag. If we go up, we have this a tag, right? In a tag, we have this attribute target, hra, class, data type, item prop, and all that. Now we can think of making use of it, right? So here, if I just go here, and here, if I just write, remove this with a, and here, this class. So the class here is your class is type link so let's just copy it and go back here and if we paste this let's see what we are going to get let's run it so here we are getting a class type link data type attribute item prop yes and here if you see you are getting two bhk apartment for sale right so here you have this span two bhk apartment so if you go to A, it is highlighting to all of these tags, right? So here, this is your parent tag A, and inside this parent tag, you have strong, you have span, you have span, and all that. So now I can just write from this A tag, whatever output we have got, from there we want the span. So I will just write dot span. And if I run it, here we are getting this value too. That is two BHK apartment, and now I can just write dot text, and here we will get the this information two BHK apartment. So we have seen how to scrap the owner information and how to scrap this number of BHK. So here we have got two now, right? So let's go back and now let's see how we are going to find out this locality. That is Patti Hyderabad. So again, a right click, inspect, and again it is pointing us to this strong tag, right? So we cannot use this, this strong tag. What about your span tag? So let's try out because this has some different attribute. Item prop equals to address locality, right? So this is just like your cat and mouse game. You need to try out with different hierarchy, hierarchical tags and see which one works for you. Sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not work, right? So here we have this span item prop, right? 
So let's go back. Let's just I will just copy it, and here let's just paste it. We'll change this tag to span, span, and here we will write attrs. This is not class. This is your attribute. This time is item prop, and you have this value for that address locality. So let's go back here, and this is our item prop. And the value for that here, Control V, and let's just remove all that, and let's see what we are getting. So let's run it. Okay, so we are getting this information, Patti, right, in Hyderabad. So we just need this information, nothing else. We know it is Hyderabad, right? Because we are making request for Hyderabad only. So I will write dot text, and I will get this locality. So it is Patti. Okay. Next, we need this information about the price. So here, I'll just again do a right click, inspect, and it is taking us to this span. Now, this span has different attributes. It has your span, class, well, item prop, item scope, item type. These are the attributes. Okay, but here, if you see, it is thirty-one point zero five lakh. There might be some property. That has listed in crores, right? So we also need this information, right? Three point zero, three thirty one point zero five L or CR. So here, if we go to the span tag, it is just giving us this number thirty one point zero five. So what we will do is we'll go up. Now this is just pointing to the high this rupee symbol. Again, if you go up, now this div tag is highlighting. To our thirty one point zero five lakh, right? So we will use this div tag now. Let's try it out. Let's see whether it is working or not. If it doesn't work, then again we will move to some other tab and try to scrap it. Let's go back here. Let's write soup dot find, and this time we have div tag comma attrs equals to, and here we will give this. The attribute. So, what is the attribute here? We have data type, price length. So, let's just copy it. Let's just go back here. Let's just paste it and call in the value of this attribute is price length. And let's run it. Let's see what we are going to get. So, we are getting this data type, price length, subclass, item well, and all that information. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, so here we are getting this price, thirty-one point zero five, right? Here we are getting INR thirty-one point zero five, and here you have L that is lakh. So here, if I just write dot text, let's see what we are going to get. So we are getting this information thirty-one point zero five lakh. So that's it. That's all that we require, right? So we have scrapped your owner information about your Number of BHK, locality, and the price. Now let's get back. Here we have something called as two comma seven zero zero per square foot. So this is going to be your, let's say you for your practice, you try to scrap this information. That this is two thousand seven hundred per square foot. So what is the price per square foot here? So this is going to be for your practice. So you try to scrape this information. Now here we'll try to scrape this area in square foot. So you need to just follow the same procedure we are following. So again, go to this information one one five zero. Take your mouse there, do a right click, and inspect. And here again, we are taken to this class well span class well. So we cannot use this because we have already seen it. If we use this. Span tag with the class equals to val. We have already different attributes for that. So we, what we will do is we'll try to use this td tag because if you see this td, it is also highlighting to your one one five zero. So we will use this td tag now. So let's go back and here let's get some new code cells and here we will write soup dot find and here we will give. Your td tag and comma 
the attributes attrs or dictionary of attributes so here the attribute is class and the value for that is site so let's go back and here we will write class and the value for it is colon you have size let's run it and see so here yes we are getting this area 1150 so we can just write dot text and let's run it so now we have got this area 1150 square feet right now next we need this construction status what is the construction status there is it under construction is it for resale ready to move and all that so again a right click go to this under construction right click and inspect and we are taken to this td class equals to val let's try to use it and see whether we are able to get this or not so let's go back i'll just copy this control a control c and control b and we have this tag td class is val so let's go back here and this time this right class is val and see what we are getting so yes we are able to get this information which is under construction now we have scraped all this information from your very first listing i hope you have enjoyed watching it if you have liked our content please do hit like button and do subscribe to our youtube channel for more useful content and exciting updates if you want to learn such practical content at an affordable cost with microsoft certification and instructor support please register at academy.codenan.com you can also download app from play store as codenan never hesitate to raise queries in the comment section and please do reply with your suggestions for more practical videos we'll be happy to come up with it thank you